let's talk about finding the area of these composite figures. Um, a composite figure is a figure that's not a rectangle. <laughs> um, that's not really true. It's a figure that's made up out of other shapes, right? And um, you've got to look for shapes that you recognize in a composite figure. And in this case, uh, I recognize that there are two rectangles here, which is great because finding the area of a rectangle is pretty easy. Right? The area for a rectangle is just going to equal the width times the length. Okay? So uh, I feel pretty confident that I can find some rectangles in this composite figure. I'm just going to grab my yellow pen here, and I'm going to make a cut right here. And that gives me two simple rectangles, right? And I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. And uh, so I come to look at this one. I'm going to color this one in. I'm going to call it the yellow rectangle. And this is a good thing to do on your paper, too. You could shade one of them in. And so you can see the difference between them. Here, I've got a black one and a yellow one. And now I'm not sure if the width of this thing is 15 meters or 11 meters. Which one of these is the width? And uh, at this point, I want to you know, say this is the most confusing thing about these. So let's talk about this. Let's pretend uh, this is, uh, we're out on the street here, and this is a building. And one friend is at, well, let's start at the other end, actually. One friend is walking on the sidewalk, and he's down here, and he's going to walk this far to the end. It looks like he's going to walk 15 meters. If one friend is up here on the roof, make him blue, and he's walking here, or maybe they're running, maybe they're having a race, and he walks this far, it looks like he's walked 11 meters. So now I start to see that this yellow rectangle looks like it's 11 meters wide before you run into this wall over here. Right? So that's, that looks like the yellow one has a width of 11 meters. Actually, I'm going to write that in yellow so we can kind of keep track of what's going on here. That's 11 meters. Um, but while we're here, let's figure out this other part. Because, you know, when I'm looking at the black rectangle. Actually, I'm going to shade it in. I'll call it the, the blue rectangle. So I can use some blue ink. We can talk about it and write about it. Um, I see that it has a height of 8 right here, but I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure about its width. So uh, let's have my little blue character jump up here and continue his race. And both, both characters, both guys or gals, I'm not sure who they are, end up over here. Now, the person on the street has walked 15 meters. The guy on the roof has walked 11 meters plus something and ended up in the same spot. I forgot he's blue. So how long do you think this extra part of the roof is? And you, so we're left with this situation where it's 11 plus something must equal 15. And we have to kind of figure out the difference. And you can do that with subtraction. Right? So here's our first calculation. I'm going to say the whole building is 15, and the guy on the roof walked 11. And then how much did he have left to do? He had four meters left to walk. So up here on the roof, we just figured out that that's four meters. And we can check, right? Four plus 11 should equal the total of 15. And lo and behold, it does, right? So that's how you can find these missing measurements. You know, um, another way is to just simply say, well, uh, this total is 15. I cut off 11 for the yellow, for the yellow section, right here, and I was left with four. All right. Okay. So now um, I know the dimensions of the blue building. I'm going to say it has a width of four, and it has a length of eight. All right. So we can say the area of that blue building is going to be 32 meters squared. Uh, but let's go back to our yellow building. Right? We figured out, we still, we know the width of the yellow building is 11 and 11, right? But we don't know the height. So what can we do? Well, we do know the tall part of the building, right? 
know this part of the building over here is 8. And we know this part of the building is 3. So again, let's imagine our little characters running around. Let's pretend that uh, you have to get off of the roof. And you don't want to jump off the 8 meter side because you'll probably break your leg. So you're going to jump off the two smaller parts. Okay, so here he is. He jumps from here down to here. How far did he jump? Looks like he jumped three meters. And he runs over here to the end. Do, 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 and he jumps off the end here. And how far did he go? Well, we know the total height was eight. That was too far for him to jump. He jumped three. So let's see here. He had eight to go. He did three already. How much is left? It looks like there's five meters left. And that's going to be the height of this yellow building. Five. So 11 times 5 is 55 meters squared. Right? Area is always measured in square units. So all that's left for us to do now is to add the blue and the yellow together. Right? So let's do it. Uh, let's take our yellow building, our yellow rectangle, 55 meters squared, our blue rectangle, 32 meters squared, and uh, that's going to add up to 87 meters squared as a total for both rectangles. Okay, so uh, I, I'm drawing the people on here to keep track of the height and the width of the missing measurements is, is a great idea, right? Because a lot of times you just get stuck. All right, let's do another one. Let's do it a little quicker here. We don't have all night, Mr. Meyer. All right, so let's cut this one into two rectangles. There we go. We'll call the first one the red one. That's a piece of cake. I like this one because I know the width is four and I know the length is five, right? So the red one has an area of 20 meters squared. I see that right away. Unfortunately, the other one, I'm not so sure. I'll call this one the blue rectangle. I see easily that it has a, a height, or okay, I'll call the height is nine. And uh, it looks like the width is 10, because it says 10 right down here. But you cannot forget, and this is the most important thing, that you've cut this off, right? You've cut these, this 10 into two different parts. Now, some people are gonna say, well, obviously, the top one is four, and it was four square units, right? So there's four on the bottom, and these look the same, so this must be four on the bottom too. But think about that. Can the four and the four make a total of 10? It can't, right? So that is a, a trap. You think things look equal, but they're not. So let's go back and think carefully about this. If the total before we cut anything up was 10, and then in the red rectangle, we cut off four, we cut off four, how much is left to be in the blue rectangle? Well, let's see. 10, if you cut off four, you're left with six. So this one here has a width of six. Nice, it has a height of nine and a width of six. Okay, so that's gonna be 54 meters squared. And we'll just add the red rectangle to the blue rectangle and we end up with 74 meters square. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so the cutting is pretty straightforward. I know you all can turn these into rectangles. The terrible, terrible tragedy is when you forget to find the right uh, dimensions, right? So if you take a long line and you cut it into two rectangles, that long line isn't as long anymore. It's two shorter lines. Please remember that and you'll be okay.